Hello artists, welcome to Mrs. Austin's Kitchen. So today we are going to be making salt dough. So you are going to need a few ingredients for this project. You are going to need salt. I have just Wegmans iodized salt. You also will need flour. Today I'm using all purpose bleach white flour. I have also though seen people use whole wheat flour. And I haven't tried it myself yet, but there is also an organic coconut flour that is gluten-free if we have any friends with gluten allergies. So all of these are options that you can get at the store to use with your salt. And then you will need just a little bit of water from the sink. So I have three fourths cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, and then I used a one cup measuring cup to pour just a little bit of water in. I don't have a lot in there yet. Um, we want to pour in the water gradually, which means slowly, so that we aren't making our salt dough too sticky. First thing I'm going to do before I start mixing though, I'm going to roll my sleeves up. I suggest you do the same. Mrs. Austin also is not wearing a smock because she's used to getting messy. If you don't want to get messy, make sure your smock is on. I'm now going to have a wooden spoon and a bowl, and I'm going to start pouring my ingredients into the bowl. So I'm gonna put my dry ingredients in first. So I dropped in my flour, and now I'm dropping in the salt. And I'm gonna stir that just a little bit. And then I'm going to gradually start adding the water in. And I might need to run to the sink, which is right behind me, and get some more water, depending on how my consistency is. So we want it to be kind of thick and chunky, like if you've ever made cookies before, kind of like cookie dough. Um, or another example would be more of like a Play-Doh type consistency. So you can see mine is not really sticking together very well yet, it's very crumbly. So that means I need to add a little bit more water. So I'm gonna do that now. And again, I'm just doing little by little because it's easier to add more than to have too much. If you do end up getting too much and it is too sticky, then you just need to sprinkle in some more flour and salt into your bowl to kind of thicken it back up again. So I can see that I need a teeny bit more water. So I'm gonna go grab some from the sink. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water in just a teeny bit. I don't wanna do too much because again, it will all stick to my finger so you can kind of see that it's sticking a little bit better right now so this is a pretty good consistency so i'm going to now pull it out make it into a ball and i have some clay now dough again you can see it's not really coming off on my hands and sticking too much you can see a teeny bit so maybe i would sprinkle like a little bit more flour so i'm going to sprinkle you can see on my other screen here a little flour onto here just to make it a little bit less sticky because we don't want it to be sticking all over the place. There we go, that's a little bit better. So you can see it's kind of like Play-Doh where you can push into it and it doesn't really come off. So I hope that you have fun sculpting today. I can't wait to see what you create and have fun. Good luck, artists. <laughs> All right, friends, so as you can see, I now have my chipboard that I drew my ice cream cone in on last week. I'm going to take about a handful of the salt dough clay, so you can see it's about the size of my palm, and I'm going to put it into the spots where I drew my ice cream cone. So I'm just going to press it right into the board. It will dry stuck to the board, and I'm actually going to purposely make my ice cream a little lumpy. Um, because I don't think ice cream, personally, the kind I eat is perfectly smooth. So I'm fine with this looking a little lumpy. I'm gonna draw like a little kind of line with my finger to differentiate where my scoops are for when I go to paint next week. And then I'm gonna take maybe about the size of a quarter, I'm gonna roll it. Stick that really nicely right into my spot where my cherry goes for me to paint red next week. So that is about the entire process to make our ice cream cones. You'll probably have some extra salt dough that you guys can play around with, maybe build some extra things. I hope that you had fun and I will see you next week.